Hello, good evening. It's Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the uh, European markets. End of day, Wednesday, 21st of September 2016. Be sure to visit Trade Signal, signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com and certainly uh, download the uh, app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, now in terms of uh, markets, given the fact that BOJ and uh, the FOMC is out of the way, I think it's probably best for me to do a video now. Okay. In terms of um, economic data and uh, the numbers, really for end of day, uh, numbers from the likes of the uh, European and the US, I'll just go through them with you now. Okie dokie, so we basically have the US market certainly finishing positive, the S&P up 1%, basically 1% across the board. Now we have the FTSE up, uh, well, basically a flat more or less for the day. The DAX and the CAC more or less um, semi-flat up, 0.4%, so nothing spectacular. So let's go through the chronology of events. First of all, we have the BOJ overnight. Really, it was a, a failed uh, attempt at, um, attempt, well, basically the disappointment. Okay, everybody's expecting some increase in uh, QE, and that certainly wasn't the case. So... No more Kool-Aid, okay, uh, no more drugs, QE drugs at all, and they still opted for the uh, potential yield curve, okay, basically attempting to drive down uh, interest rates in terms of long-term perspective, and really it's just an adjustment, really, if anything, it's just an adjustment of the already existing um, QE program that's in place, and really it's, uh, it's about the longevity, so uh, what they're attempting to do is rather than hit the 2% inflation target and stop, they're just going to carry on, okay. Now... It's basically increasing the duration as opposed to the actual uh, quantity. And which isn't exactly bullish. And you can see that by the USDJPY. The USDJPY certainly flushed down to the uh, 100 level. Uh, and again, indicating a bearish price action. So if I bring up the chart of the USDJPY, you should be able to clear, clearly see that the the market certainly has rejected the, uh, the actual, uh, well, certainly the attempt at driving down the yen has certainly failed okay so you can certainly see the market certainly underwhelmed and um, is not impressed but having said that u.s markets are still higher given the fact that uh, miss yellen's speech has been interpreted as being uh, dovish okay and therefore uh, they lack conviction that she will actually even raise interest rates this year which doesn't bode well and that's why you've had a potential short squeeze in u.s equities now u.s equities uh, really that, that really is is, an, uh, is another video in and of itself and i'll certainly attempt to do that and put that out but really it's the, the conclusion really that we can we, we certainly find from there is that uh, we basically have uh, the uh, lack of conviction of a potential rate rise okay uh, and uh, that's obviously feeding through in terms of equities given the fact that emerging markets have certainly pushed higher so strange okay certainly strange especially given the fact that we have a lack of uh, qe from boj so the markets certainly seem to be on this uh, potential concept that the uh, there will be qe for longer or there will be easy easy monetary policy for longer and therefore no no uh, raise no no increase in the rate hike in the us and therefore emerging markets moving higher and in, in risk being embraced as you can see with the dollar collapsing Talking about the dollar collapse, let's just bring up the US dollar for you. You can certainly see the daily chart rejected resistance there. And the 60-minute chart certainly flushing, coming into potential support as we speak. Okay, so looking for a risk of trade there very, very shortly. Okay, now in terms of uh, equities, let's just bring that up for you. Really, it was all about the BOJ and the FOMC. And really, they both failed to really do anything at all. So we're back to uh, square one. Okay, so the German DAX, let's just start off with the German DAX here. Uh, the daily chart certainly holding gap fill resistance. After hours, we have pushed higher on the the actual DAX itself and the uh, the actual European markets in, in general. Uh, the German DAX is currently trading around the 10.510 zone. Uh, now it's interesting to see that the uh, the gap fill is around the 10.570 zone. So watch out for resistance there. Uh, although Euro USD certainly has pushed higher on a dovish shell, and so therefore that will certainly weigh on European equities. Now I am actually short the Euro stocks and looking for a move below. Looking for a move lower. Now you have resistance here at 10.530 on the 60 minute chart, so certainly expect that to continue unless the Euro starts to move lower. So 
Uh, again, the double top intraday was around 10.530. We have resistance here at 10.520. So watching those two zones for resistance, okay, and looking for lower lows and lower highs, okay. So again, German DAX certainly remains weak. French CAC, let's bring that up for you. Daily chart of the French CAC. You have the French CAC holding the 50% resistance on the daily chart. 60 minute chart, you certainly have held 200 MA. Okay, so again, 200 MA, 4450. You have the unfilled gap above, so again, all eyes on there. You have an unfilled gap below as well. So certainly a battle between two gaps. The uh, French CAC currently trading after hours at the moment. It's around the 4440 zone. All right, the 4440, 4450 really brings you back up to that pivot top resistance. So you certainly have two unfilled gaps now. So you have an unfilled gap at 4410. And then on an unfilled gap at 4390. And both of those are really vulnerable given the fact that the Euro USD certainly will look to potentially push higher. So just bear that in mind. Okay, certainly bear that in mind. Now, in terms of the FTSE 100, let's just bring that up for you now. FTSE 100 is certainly weak today. As you can see, a potential topping tail was put in at the FIB 75%. And that, a lot of that, and that was due to mainly the. Uh, the sterling certainly starting to bottom, okay. Even though all prices moved higher, the FTSE certainly ignore that. We did have a potential profit warning from one of the companies in the FTSE as well. Okay, and that FIB 75%. 60 minute chart of the uh, the actual FTSE 100 itself. You have this bullish engulfing candle, uh, potential bull flag scenario. So again, we'll see whether or not that's tested. You have resistance here at uh, 6890, so watch out for 6890 resistance if the markets remain bullish overnight. 10 minute chart, the FTSE certainly uh, were, we were certainly struggling at gap fill. We certainly held gap fill, but we're certainly struggling. 6630 zone was uh, certainly gap fill. And now we're currently looking to test that 6880 zone. So if you take out 6880, the FTSE remains bullish. If you remain below, it certainly remains bearish, so bear that in mind. Okay, last but not least, the Euro stocks, as always, Euro stocks 50, very important indices. The daily chart, the Euro stocks, certainly expecting a lower high given the topping tail today. Okay, and the 200 MA certainly being held, and the next potential support being 2900 below. 60 minute chart, the Euro stocks, again, you've held resistance at 3010, looking for that to hold, and you have two unfilled gaps below. Now again, you have resistance up here. Okay, resistance at 309, 3009. And again, you have the unfilled gap below at 2965. So that certainly needs to be closed as well. So certainly looking for resistance here, folks. Okay, looking for resistance. Okay, so again, weakness on the euro stocks, weakness on the uh, FTSE. And the only really conundrum really is the NASDAQ. The NASDAQ really has broken out and that really is causing me, uh, ca causing confusion for me. Uh, but again, it certainly remains an outstanding index. Okay, in the daily chart, you clearly see a clean, a clean breakout. And whether or not that's sustained or it's a fake out, again, we'll certainly have to uh, have to judge. On that note, I'll certainly call it a, a night. Be sure to visit cfds.com and certainly take advantage of the 25% uh, the bonus. Goodbye.